do that for me. Ang daming nangyari. Wow, para ako mukhang may sunburn. <laughs> Don't fret! Hello mga friends and welcome back to my channel. It's Joyce. Alam kong na-miss nyo yung uh, normal life vlogs ko. Siguro napagod na kayo sa mga adulting with Joyce spring vlogs. Ngayon naman ay gagawa ako ng bagong video that will show you how I get ready for working from home. Now, I know that a lot of people are probably at home right now at siguro madabi din sa inyo yung mga nagmi-meeting, nag opisina di ba? Nagmi-meet ng kliyente o kung ano man. What I've realized is the first one, okay, konting adulting with Joy Spring, mas madali maging productive if yung itsura mo is parang talagang pupunta ka sa work. It's just something that happens with your you know, being ready physically that changes your mindset. And uh, two, it's always nice to look presentable. So today I'm gonna show you like the easy makeup that I do. Ito yung makeup na pag may konti akong gana mag makeup. Ito yung kinakalabasan niya. I just realized marami nga palang nagre-request sa akin na to show them how I do my hair. I'll probably do that in another vlog but for now, normal lang muna. One trick, when you're drying your hair, try to get it from the top. Tapos, para nyo siyang i-air dry ng ganyan. Ayan, bali pag medyo tuyo na siya. I just change this into... Ta-da! Patiin lang natin yung buhok ko para mas madali siya. It again is the mabilisan na look that I do. Walang plancha, walang kulot, just hair dry. Then fuck, that's it. Okay, <laughs> so yun ayon. That's how I fix my hair. Um, that usually falls into place when I'm done with my makeup. So now let's do my makeup. Mabilis lang to. Quick makeup to do for when you have a meeting from home. Nakila. Okay, ulit natin. Hindi na kamaruna. <laughs> okay, so I use the Olay. Not a sponsored post, but send the check. You're generous. Not as a complete cream for your face, but for my under eye because it's very thick. This is nice if you're at home na, if you're just gonna sleep and you just leave it on. Pero kasi medyo makapal yung Regeneris. So, you could use it as an eye cream substitute. O, oh, diba? I, nakalimutan ko mag-toner, pero usually nagtotoner muna ako bago yun. I use the Celetec Hydration Ultra Moisturizing Essence, which is super light and perfect as like a makeup base. Again, mga friends, hindi po ako beauty blogger, so pagpasensya niyo na. And then, something that I've actually been enjoying is roller! First time ko mag-try. At dahil nga quarantine ngayon, I have time now. I have like a 30 to 45 minute skin routine at night, you know, that actually works. I massage my face. So after that, face mist. Uh, this Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe and stuff. Wow, I miss ko to, ah. <laughs> So, now that my skin is prepped, also my favorite is this Carmex lip balm. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. For the super easy makeup, the first thing that I do, of course, this is MAC Studio Fix Cushion Compact SPF 50. My only problem with this is it's actually so light and this is one of the darker shades that they have, at least from the store where I bought it. So, yun ang uh, problema ko minsan with cushion. The colors are super light. Ngayon, it kind of adjusted na because I've been staying at home the past almost three months. So, nag-adjust na yung skin color ko. But before this, I was super tan kasi nga, 
you know, I travel a lot. And basically, I use this as kind of like a concealer, see? So, yung mga konting dark spots on even skin tone, it kind of evens it out. And then I use my MAC Compact Powder to kind of settle everything. What you'll notice in this uh, tutorial is it's going to be super easy, super light, talagang pang meetings lang. Okay, so now that that's done with, I uh, recently <laughs> nabasag po yung ito, yung favorite ko na Too Faced powder. But as you can see, it's dapat kabasag-basag na naman siya. <laughs> Lumang-luma na siya mga besh. See, even the start, it's super old na. I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure this is expired. Probably. But I still use it. Wala namang problema sa skin ko. Buhay pa naman siya. Ang dami rin kasi mga girlfriends ko na you know, would always say that even if it's expired na, they still use it. Don't listen to me. I'm not a dermatologist. But I don't know. I have to get rid of it. I know. But the stores are closed right now. So I'm gonna make use of it as much as I can. And eventually buy new ones when the stores have opened. So I'm not a very good uh, tutorial person. Kailangan pala. Ang ginagawa ko ngayon, nagko-contour ako. So to kind of give definition to my face. And what I do is I take this eye contouring brush. I put it onto whatever I use to contour my face. And then I contour my nose. Just a little bit. You don't want it naman too solid. And what I do is I actually take it to my eyes na rin. So you have it here right on my nose. And then I take it to my eyes. To just kind of give definition to my eyes as well. Um, na hindi naman super halata. Okay, next, I will take this MAC brown pencil and I line my eyelid here like so. Which is super subtle, but you'll really see your eyes pop. So, there, I curl my lashes. This is an eyelash curler that I got from my best friend Tin. <laughs> Hinaram ko to sa kanya in 2017 hanggang ngayon. Hindi pa rin bumabalik sa kanya. Tin, I'm really sorry. Remind me to buy you uh, an eyelash curler for Christmas. Ta-da! Other side. I'm very used to like my makeup being done. So, hindi na siya katulad ng dati na sobrang struggle talaga. Okay. So, my favorite mascara, not uh, none of these things are sponsored, but my favorite mascara that's also super affordable is this. It's the Maybelline Hyper Curl. So good. So I just do that and on a zigzaggy motion, put it on your eyelashes. Wow! See? And on this side as well. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of it for the face. And now we move on to my eyebrows. This, I have no idea what this is called. This is an eyebrow pencil that I bought from Japan last year. It's wonderful because on one end, you've got the pencil. And then in the middle, you've got the powder. And then at the end, you got the brush, the spoolie. I just take the powder and basically I just fill in my eyebrows, okay? It's just fill in my eyebrows. Always remember that it has to be darker on the edges, right? So it could frame your face properly and then lighter going into the middle so that it's a bit softer. I don't really mind messy eyebrows. I kind of like messy eyebrows. I think it's just, you know, more natural looking kesa yung super placado. But don't tell that to 2013 Joyce because she'd call you blasphemous. <laughs> if you saw my photos, nakita natin yan from 2013. Grabe yung pagka-placado ng kilay ko. As in, malala. May galit ata ako nun sa pencil sharpener. And if you want a bit more definition, this is what I do. I just 
lightly feather fill in wow feather fill in my eyebrows like that okay hindi pantay yung kilay ko papantay natin yan and mapapansin nyo this whole time i just my lips are just soaking in carmex lip balm para when i put my lipstick ikakaganda niya okay na yan uh, one of my best friends nina actually got me this nice eyebrow gel, Brow Made. So I've been using it. Uh, it's really good. But if you want, like maybe cheaper alternative, also, I learned from Catriona Gray using your false eyelashes glue, if it's clear, to use on your eyebrows. I use that for work. So, yun talaga hindi gumagalo yung kilay mo. If you want it up, it'll just be up the whole time. So, see what difference it makes when you brush it up. Wow! That's pretty much what I do with my eyes, but I'll still put my highlight later. And now for my blush on. My current favorite is this On The Go blush by Happy Skin. Ta-da! What I noticed with blush, you want to mix both like, apart from this cream blush, you want to put over powder br brush then para mas maganda siya. I usually just put here everywhere because of my bone structure. So mas bagay sa bone structure ko yung ganitong lahat na lalagyan. Hindi niya pa siya nakikita kasi this blush on is super subtle. It's literally like he just came out of the shower. But if you want it to be a bit more potent and mas halata that you have it, yes, you can use. So this is the NARS Wanted to Cheek Palette. So it's very old as you can see from the packaging. Wala ni pangalan ni NARS. But I still have a lot of it because nga, I don't I didn't usually do my makeup. Usually, amazing makeup artists do that for me. Ang daming nangyari. Wow, para ako mukhang may sunburn. <laughs> Don't fret! That's what the uh, blending is for. Medyo nadamihan ng blush. But that's okay because yung skin ko. Madali siya magblend ng color. So, when that happens, all I have to do is take my powder and just fix it. Once you've done that, the next thing that I want to do is to actually take... I can't show you the inside of the palette because part of it is broken. Okay, I'll show you. The friends are here. See? It's broken. So I can't go the... This is what I use, but it's the NARS cheek palette. And I just put a bit of highlighter here. And I also put here. And here. So highlighter there. And if you'd like, you could also put some on your nose. A cute little highlighting thing on your nose. So that's what it looks like. So after that, what I use now is sa sa mga favorite kong lipstick is itong Nude Nuance from Maybelline. And I just Swipe it on like that. But if you want a bit more color, you could put that on and then take Divine Wine, also by Maybelline, and hit that dab. <laughs> and that's how I do my makeup. So after that, if you feel like your face is too white because of the additional powder that you did, just get your contouring brush and um, contour on top of that. Just kind of feel it, you know? And sometimes it's white because the powder hasn't settled yet. So wait for it to settle. One way to do that is to get your spray again, the one that you used before you started doing your makeup and shut up. That's it! Oh, diba? I guess I have to tell you also that 
you know, if you don't feel like doing your makeup, that's totally fine as well. A lot of people are struggling, including myself, uh, with working from home. And sometimes when I don't feel like putting on makeup, I don't. Just to kind of regain that power again. And that's totally fine. Whatever fits you and whatever suits you. But at the end of the day, we have to keep going, right? We have to keep fighting to be better. We have to not let our emotions and our sadness and this new crisis that we're facing eat us alive. And we have to do even the smallest things to make ourselves feel better, feel good, and even look good. Which includes taking care of your skin and putting on a bit of makeup. So that's it for me. I take out my uh, headband. I do this. So, para maganda yung bagsak ng hair nyo. Thank you, Pantene, for my super healthy hair. Wow! Yeah, that's all you do. I just fix it like that. And that's it! That's it for this vlog. Um, wow, I hope that reaches some sort of substantial content. I don't know if it will, but that's how I do my work from home look, work from home makeup. Uh, hopefully I'll do more videos like this. So if you liked it, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions for videos that I should be doing apart from Adulting with Joy Springs episode highlights, please do let me know. Wait, we should be slow. One, two, three. Okay, no, bayan. <laughs> Paalam.